Hi, greetings from the balcony. Today's recipe on this sunny day is gonna be as quick as delicious. I'm going to use my leftover pulled pork from the last video and we are going to make a creamy and cheesy pasta using my secret weapon. If you haven't seen my pulled pork video, you can simply click here and enjoy. The key ingredients today are of course the pork and the stock we collected in the sous vide bag. We are going to make the sauce from scratch using some fresh tomatoes and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. I'm already pumped, so let's get prepping. Let's take a look on all the ingredients. For pulled pork pasta, you guessed it, we need leftover pulled pork. I stored mine in the freezer and let it thaw. In addition, we need two red onions, two cloves of garlic, one red bell pepper, 500 grams cherry tomatoes, the leftover juices from the vacuum bag. If you don't have that, you can always substitute with chicken stock. Just remember that this here is spiced with some magic dust, so you might want to season your sauce later on with some magic dust as well, or any AP seasoning you have lying around. Also, we need some pickled pepperonis for garnish, a little bit of dry white wine for the sauce, salt, pepper, olive oil and about one tablespoon of tomato concentrate. For herbs, I chose dill today simply because I like it, but you can of course take some parsley or none at all as you fancy. And this is my secret weapon for today. Cheese spread or melting cheese. Many of you guys probably already know this. It's a processed cheese made from milk, cheese, gouda in this case and melting salts to keep it in the spreadable consistency. This will make the tomato sauce extra creamy and rich. You should try tomato cheese spread sauce with some canned tuna on pasta. Fast and delightful. But first we need to prep our veggies. Cut the red onions in half, peel them and dice them into small pieces. The onions don't have to be super fine. And put them aside for now. And folks, you can't have a good tomato sauce without garlic. Period. Cut, peel them into garlic cloves and put them aside. Now let's make a quick work with the brunoise of bell pepper. This is one of my favorite ways to cut it. Simply run your knife along as shown and you can easily deseed the fruit. Then it's simply a matter of cutting it into strips and then into cubes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Reserve them for later. If you have seen previous videos of mine, then you know I like some heat in my food. For that, rub a chili in your hands and hit it against your board. This helps to release the seeds. Cut the top and they easily fall out the chili by tapping the fruit. I like to quarter it lengthwise with the tip still attached. This makes cutting it finer easier, but you can, of course, cut it into rings. And wear some gloves or don't rub your uh, eyes. Talking from experience here. As mentioned before, we are making a sauce from fresh tomatoes today. You probably won't get the intensive tomato flavor from canned ones, but this will be so much fresher. And tomatoes are in season right now. All we have to do is to cut them in half and reserve them for later. Since I'm growing my beard and not some herbs, I borked a nice handful of fresh dill and shaved that off instead, as you see here, but you need a nice sharp knife. Then cut it finely, but don't go berserker all all the nice dill flavor will be on your board and not in your dish. That would be unfortunate. And with that we are ready to oil up a cast iron skillet on the grill or the hop and start cooking. Speaking about cooking, let's add the onions and sweat them down for a few minutes. Once the onions are caramelized, add the bell peppers slash chili and continue to fry for about 2 minutes until the peppers soften. Avoid putting your nose over the pan, the chili fumes pack a punch, so I'm talking from experience here. <laughs> Then stir in a generous tablespoon of tomato concentrate. Sweating down the concentrate is important to remove the acidity and the raw taste, which is a little bit chalky in my opinion and it's to be avoided. So now it's time to add the tomatoes. Action!
Then season the sauce with a pinch of salt and a few turns of freshly ground black pepper. Continue to cook it down until you see the tomatoes turning slightly brownish. So, now we deglaze it with some dry white wine. Always take something you would drink. Don't use cooking wine. Mm -hmm. We can add that. By deglazing, we can wash off every goodness that set down on the bottom of the pan. Yummy! Always cook off the alcohol, since it can be bitter, and you can remove the acidity of the wine by that. So this sauce has reduced slightly, and the alcohol is about to evaporate. And I think it might be ready for the next step in about three minutes. Now it's thickened up, and it's time to add the stock on the sous vide bag. Dunk it all in, and you guessed it, reduce it again. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes, I guess. So now it's time to make it creamy and cheesy. And I'm going to add the cheese. Mm. Oh yeah, look at that, so creamy. So last but not least, our pulled pork. And we got to bring that up to temperature. Now it's rather sticky. And maybe it's wiser to use the pork. And with that, our lovely sauce is done and we are ready to cook some pesto. So now it's finally done. We are by the best part, the tasting. So I've prepared some pasta here, just some cooked spaghetti. And now let's pile this up. Look at that, mm. lovely creamy sauce, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Then I prepared the pepperoni, the pickled peppers and the dill. So now let's dig in. Mm. Oh, wow. Ever had smoked spaghetti? Now you can. Wow. Really, really nice. And um, the pickled pepperonis really give some freshness, the acidity. It's really good for the balance here in the dish. Really, really nice. Let me taste again. How's the dill matching? Mmm. Bueno. Mmm. I really hope you give that a try. So even if you didn't uh, make the pulled pork like me, so the more traditional way maybe, Substitute the uh, juices from the vacuum bag with regular stock. You're good to go and you're gonna get a really nice smoky pasta dish. So, I hope we see each other the next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.